Okay, now we're going to be doing the greater palatine nerve block. In order to do that, we're going to ask the patient to open the mouth and we're going to identify the nerve. The nerve is located in the junction between the second and the third molar, a one centimeter medial um, to, the, um, to the teeth. In this patient, the patient doesn't have the wisdom teeth, so she only has the second molar. So it's if we imagine that here is the third molar, or the way to identify the molar is canine, first premolar, second premolar, first molar, second molar, here is where the third molar should have been. So if we calculate one centimeter medial from the um, location of the second and third molar junction, and we press with the Q-tip, and we see some blanching of the mucosa, that's the area where the greater palatine <coughs> artery is, in, sorry, nerve is located. So in order to do the nerve block, we are going to put a little bit of the topical anesthetic in that area. And we are going to let it wait for 15 minutes so the mucosa is numbed. Okay, so now we are going to do the block. We are going to ask the patient to open the mouth and then in the area that we previously identified that is the junction between the second molar and the third molar one centimeter medial we are going to do the injection we're going to go through the mucosa almost down to the bone we're going to aspirate to make sure that there is no intravascular injection and then we're going to inject the local anesthetic approximately half centimeter to create a wheel in that way we are going to create the blockage of the nerve. 